The comparison test, which we will present in this video, is also kind of a good news, bad news sort of affair. The good news is that the comparison test is very intuitive. I think when you see it, you'll think, yes, that makes sense. The bad news is that it can be quite fiddly and hard to use. The comparison test has two parts. Both of them involve two sets of numbers. Let's say that we're looking at a series A sub n, where, as with the integral test, all of these terms are positive. Suppose you can find a new set of terms, B sub n, such that a sub n is less than or equal to b sub n. Now suppose that the sum of these B sub n's is finite. Then the original series converges and Intuitively, all this is saying is that if a series is smaller than a finite series, it is also finite. You can't have an infinite quantity be smaller than a finite quantity. The second part of the comparison test also involves finding new terms. This time, suppose we find positive terms that are less than a sub n. And now suppose that this series diverges. Then the original series diverges. And just as we did here, let's try to make sense of this intuitively. 
think of a divergent series as infinite. That's a little off as we saw with Grandy's series, but it will help our intuition. If a series is larger than an infinite series, it is also infinite. You cannot have a finite quantity be larger than an infinite quantity. Using the comparison test, as I said, can be quite fiddly and require a fair amount of trial and error and messing around. In the next video, we'll look at some concrete examples.